My name is Tatiana Prandt. I'm a dental hygienist. For the last 10 years, I have been working as a clinical instructor at the School of Oral Healthcare, University of Copenhagen, teaching dental hygiene students how to use LM instruments. This video case is step-by-step -step illustration of my choice, how to simplify hand instrument selections and how to rationalize a professional approach to scaling, making it more time official and using only few periodontal instruments combinating different periodontal strokes. My choice of uh, instruments for the first time appointment patient with the need for more comprehensive uh, scaling and uh, pockets uh, more than uh, five millimeters with uh, calculus uh, deposit size from uh, small to medium, sometimes with uh, different root topography is a set of Gracie instruments and a mini sickle. And what makes this uh, instrument set unique? It's uh, a combination of different uh, Gracie instruments and a sickle. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I use this with different directions, with uh, different angulation, but only few graces to make the whole periodontal instrumentation of a rather comprehensive patient. I'm using uh, Gracie 13, 14 for distal surfaces, for vertical and horizontal strokes, and I'm using Gracie 11, 12 for mitral surfaces, facial surfaces, and for scaling forecations, both ceiling and bottom of forecations, and mini Gracie one and two. Mini sickle is one of the best instruments, especially in combination with universal or with area-specific curates. I use this instrument for gross scaling in this case, but if calculus is not so tenition, I can skip this phase and using it for finishing and evaluating strokes. And I know out from my experience that patients appreciate it. In this case, I'm starting using a mini sickle just for gross scaling because mini sickle is very, very effective to remove um, medium sized deposits of calculus just under the gingival margin. As uh, you can see here, I'm doing it in the upper jaw, in the proximal areas, nearly the same movement, but with uh, another finger rest, with another movement, I can also do in a lower jaw. You need to be very careful that you are applying your lateral pressure on the first third part of the working blade. I'm starting periodontal instrumentation using Macro Gracie 13 14 at all distal surfaces of posterior teeth. You are moving on from molars to premolars, making very nice short vertical scaling strokes. You can choose flip your instrument and use another working end, changing your finger rest position and making some horizontal strokes which are very effective, very e good to remove the rest calculus of the distal surfaces. It is my favorite technique. And that's why I'm choosing working with macro graces here, because the working blade is longer than in mini graces. I can do it in the upper jaw at the posterior teeth. And as you can see here, I'm also doing this movement on the distal surface of posterior teeth in a lower jaw. 
very short, tiny, nearly detective strokes and lateral pressure when it is necessary. I am doing all Michel sides with Mini Gracie 11-12. And if the tooth has a four-cation involvement, I am also use Mini Gracie 11-12 in combination with Mini Gracie 1-2. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing scaling four occasions on the mulas in the upper jaw using a combination of different instruments. I've seen different clinicians do it in a different way, so it's just my choice for this uh, kit of instruments. I am doing all mesial aspects of distal roots with um, Mini Gracie 11-12. And I'm using the same instruments, but not as different pressure when I'm scaling the bottom of four occasion. Very tiny movements to avoid damage of pulp. For distal roots, which are quite straight, I'm gonna use uh, Mini Gracie 1 and 2. I can do it in the upper jaw, like here, and like here. And um, I prefer using 1 and 2, Mini Gracie 1 and 2, also for scaling for occasion in a lower jaw because of uh, root topography. After you have finished the first and maybe the first quadrant, you are moving on to quadrant number two and number three. And you can uh, approach four occasion from a palatal side. Now I'm showing you how I'm doing the mesial aspect of a palatal root on the first molar. The same combination of movement I'm doing here. Small tiny movement. Usually it's recommended to use Gracie 7, 8 for scaling the palatal and buccal surfaces. Nevertheless, it's uh, much easier for me to adapt Gracie 13 and 14 because of uh, quite curved palatal roots and I'm starting scaling doing some vertical strokes and I can choose if it is necessary to do some horizontal strokes the instrument choice is always up to clinician but there are so many excellent options